Hi, this is Dr. Don. I want to take a couple of minutes and show you how to make backup copies so when you're working in our studio, you can always refer back to the originals. A couple ways of doing this. One of the first ways is just to make a copy. And to do that, you can click by the name of the file. I'm using this first one there. Click it. And then I want to go to More, Copy. You can see it offers it up. I can change the name right here if I want, uh, or I can just uh, keep that. So I'm going to keep that and show you how to change the name later. So you can see we've created a copy that's of original of that data worksheet. Now, if I want to change the name of any of these uh, items in here, I can just click that file and go to rename. And I'm going to get rid of the copy of, because I wanted to sort alphabetically. And what I like to do is just put my initials on the end, dash DW. And that makes a copy that way. You can see now I've got the original up here and I've got my copy there. And if I just sort those on name, you can see they're all sorted together and you can see I can see the one I want to work on. Another way is to do a file save as. I'm going to open up this other worksheet, the graphing data worksheet, click on its name, and it's open over here in the source editor place. And I want to go and just select on file, save as, and then I can click my cursor where I want to insert. Space it over there and I'll insert dash DW that way and then save. You can see now I've got a copy there. So those are a couple of ways that you can do a file save as or make a copy of a file. You can also rename files. For example, if I click on this file and click on rename, then it offers it up and I can, for example, maybe I want to put my middle initial and click OK and it's renamed the file. So I hope this helps.